Hey guys, what's up? I am Pallak Lakhani. In this channel, I make educational and motivational videos focusing mainly on studying and working in Germany. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. In today's video, we have with us Mr. Niranjan, who completed his master's degree in Germany and he is now pursuing his PhD from Germany. So his experience will help you all to come to Germany and also do your masters from here and to secure your future. So I usually put timestamps in all my videos in the description below. So I will also put the timestamps in this video. So if you want to skip to any uh, favorite part, then you can do that. But I would highly recommend to watch this entire video because you are going to learn many things from this video. So quickly I will tell uh, Niranjan to introduce himself. Um, hi everyone, I am Niranjan Ramakrishna Gowda. I come from a state called Karnataka in India. So I am in Germany from the past uh, seven years. I came to do initially my master's degree in Kiel. I did uh, material science and engineering degree as my master's studies. And I have been doing my PhD from the past uh, three years. Uh, I work in this institute called Center for Innovation Competence and that's my basic introduction. Okay. So uh, Niranjan, you told that you are a mechanical engineer, right? Yes. So being a mechanical engineer, why did you choose material science and engineering? I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering as Palak says and uh, during this study I got to learn subjects like strength of materials, mm -hmm. metallurgy for example, where it was restricted mostly for metallic materials. Okay. But when I had a look, when I was in the phase of applying for a master's degree program, I got to know about University of Kiel and I had a quick look of the course module of this particular course and found that it had covered different classes of materials like inorganic functional materials, biomaterials and uh, polymers for example, which you are studying right yeah. now and material composites. So that's what I wanted to study. A general study program mm -hmm. where it focuses mainly on the these class of different okay. materials okay and that was the main reason yeah. why I switched from mechanical to material science and engineering. okay and could you please tell us quickly what kind of bachelor programs are eligible to apply for this course mm -hmm. so if you have a look on the website of the technical faculty of the University of mm -hmm. Kiel they have listed around 15 different courses okay but the most relevant ones I'm going to say right now of course a bachelor's in general material science and engineering yeah. or just material science with focus on structural materials mm -hmm. or functional materials for example and since this will be a general study program which will focus on the physics chemistry and mathematics and mainly physics and chemistry of these materials so it's okay to have bachelor's in physics and also metallurgy is one of the courses from which people can apply mm -hmm. and chemical engineering, polymer chemistry, uh, mechanical engineering and so on. Okay. Yeah. So there are varieties of, it's a general study program. And uh, did you apply in any other university or your choice of preference was only University of Kiel? Um, of course I applied for six or seven different so universities. That means there are many other universities providing this course, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Could are, you name few of them? Yeah. So I have made a list of five of the universities okay. which I am going to read right now. Yeah. So there, what I understood by seeing at the name of the courses of these particular courses is that so there are general material science and engineering programs mm -hmm. and at the same time specific studies, for example, metallurgy and metal forming masters in metallurgy and metal forming, masters in material chemistry and catalysis. Mm -hmm. I'm going to name the universities and the courses. Okay. So RWTH Aachen, which is in Aachen, has a general material science and engineering program. University of Bayreuth, so it has MSc in material chemistry and catalysis. So that is basically more specific program. If someone has work experience with catalysis and material chemistry, then they can go for a course in University Bayreuth. Okay. University Bochum has general material science but mm -hmm. with simulation. Okay. So those people who are more interested in modeling, modeling, modeling and, and or uh, imagining a career in simulation and yeah. modeling, they, they can go for this specific course. 
like i said my intention was to do general study okay. program okay so you need to decide what is what better suits you yeah yeah and probably not the people from consultancy yeah. okay, <laughs> okay. say this right yeah. yeah okay if someone wants to apply for material science and engineering course or mm-hmm. any other course in university of kiel then yeah. what are the uh, deadlines mm-hmm. for winter semester and for summer semester mm-hmm. so in university of kiel for material science and engineering so there is only winter intake so okay. there is no summer intake intake as such so the application process uh, it starts on 16th of january and goes on till mid of september okay. in the usual cases okay. but now due to coronavirus situation mm-hmm. now yeah. they have shrunk the period from 16th of january till end of march you can apply okay so that they have enough time to do the decision okay of yeah. the, uh, how did you apply to the university of kiel was it directly through university or was it via uni assist mm-hmm. so of this particular course i applied uh, online directly mm-hmm. so it was a simple application procedure okay. so i had to just register it online mm-hmm. open an account download the form application form okay. fill it and then submit it online yeah after that you get a confirmation that um, you have applied for this position so this confirmation letter has to be printed out signed and then sent through the postal services okay. to the university of kiel and that's the only application you are asked to send it okay uh, through postal services other than that um, most of it is like any other applying for any other okay. master degree you need uh, a proof that you know english language mm-hmm. which can be ielts or toefl or you can through uh, you can prove this through a letter from one of your bachelor's university stating that all your studies was in english as a okay. medium and of course you need bsc certificate and another additional thing is the self assessment form okay this form also has to be submitted online okay but this can be done by comparing your skill set skill set with the modules they have given online so you can self assess yourself and then this will also be one of the factors deciding whether or not you will get a place okay. of study in this okay field. yeah so this covers our another question also that the documents that are required for studying in uh, university of kiel so now if someone doesn't have his bachelor certificate because mm-hmm. it usually happens that yeah. you get the admission mm-hmm. but you get your uh, bachelor certificate during your convocation in the next year yeah so is it okay not to have a bachelor certificate yes um, because many of the universities they specify if you don't have such a original certificate then you can always apply with a provisional degree okay. certificate so at least you need that and okay. it will be it will be fine. enough yeah it will be enough yeah. yes and is it necessary to get the documents attested either from embassy or from lawyer or there is no need to do that mm. in my case it's been 7 years so i hardly remember but while applying for the course i did not attest anything okay of course the provisional degree certificate had to be attested attested from the university yeah, yeah. there will be a stamp there and things like that yeah. other than that no other certificate needed attestation but attestation is necessary for these um, like the other other things okay. which you have to do later like oh, applying okay. for a bank account yeah. or uh, these things might need the stamp but mm-hmm. not the degree not the documents well okay applied. okay and you mentioned that you gave ielts exam mm-hmm. so was there a need to also give gre for your course or there is overall no need to give gre mm-hmm. if you want to come to germany yeah in my case uh, they didn't ask for gre score okay. so i did not give okay. and also out of the six courses which i made a list of mm-hmm. barely any university asked for gre score okay, okay so i decided not to give and yeah, yeah. Uh, the only thing i gave was ielts exam and uh, yeah keeping all the degree certificates at a place okay. and then applying okay yeah uh, can you tell something about the selection process that occurs in the background mm-hmm. how the university uh, mm-hmm. selects individuals because usually university like this mm-hmm. gets so many applications yeah. so what are the selection criteria that they have in their mind when they are selecting a person yeah. so we will have a look on the kind of bachelor's degree which you studied right okay. so depending on that they will assign certain points to it starting from 0 to 24 in case of material science and engineering at kiel and then they will also look at the gpa of your bachelor's degree okay so and you will get certain points from 0 to 
depending on what uh, what your gpa is and also they will check for the for your knowledge in physics chemistry and mathematics okay from your bachelor's so the sum of all these should correspond to 24 for you to be given the position okay. to study if less then probably you will not get a place but um, there is another possibility if some of the courses are missing mm -hmm. then you are asked to take these course work once you reach Kiel or any other city for okay. example then you can make it up so there is always a possibility to make it up okay yeah it's not a rejection doesn't necessarily mean that you are rejected forever okay and yeah. you can't do anything it's not like that you can always match it up yeah. once um, yeah by taking additional subjects necessary okay. and this procedure will not be checked only by a single professor but multiple professors okay and this decision will be sent to this uh, organization called international center which take which also cross checks all the Mm -hmm. documents submitted by the individual whether okay. or not he is fit to do this course and things like that so, so that's our decision uh, the decision doesn't uh, lie in the hand of a single professor or yeah. a program coordinator but there is a complete selection panel who yeah. decides which student to take and which student to reject yeah exactly okay. so that's how okay. it works okay yeah can you please tell how your course was structured mm -hmm. of material science and engineering during the entire four semesters mm -hmm. So the first uh, two, two semesters were of compulsory modules where you have to finish the subjects to be able to go further. Okay. So these are, it's made in such a way that um, these subjects are necessary mm -hmm. to intensify your knowledge in a particular area. Okay. So of course the third semester uh, corresponds electives. So you here you get a freedom to intensify your knowledge mm -hmm. to be prepared to work in a advanced uh, setup okay. in PhD or in job for example. Fourth semester is basically yeah, master thesis where you will choose to do within the universities or you choose, you plan to go outside okay. to a company or a private uh, research institute. Okay. So that's the course structure. Yeah. Like. And if someone completes three semesters then what specialization he can do mm -hmm. for his master thesis? Yeah. So like I mentioned just before it can be choosing just one of the professors uh, who taught you okay. uh, all the subjects so that that will be decided by your interest if you okay. are really interested with that particular group you are free to approach that particular professor okay. or on the notice board you can always find the advertisement for the master okay. thesis by okay. the different groups if not these two then you are also free to choose a very advanced topic or an applied topic outside the university like in a front of her or Max Planck or Helmholtz for example mm -hmm. yeah that's another possibility and okay. company is always another possibility where okay. you can choose yeah